Problem number 1. Compute the ultimate moment capacity of the beam shown using Fy is equal to 345 megapascal and F'C prime C is equal to 21 megapascal. Iredraw ko lang yung section na given sa problem. With a given value of F prime C, 21 megapascal, Fy, 345 megapascal, at yung hinahanap natin yung ultimate moment capacity ng ating section. Since non-rectangular yung section, madaming possibility na maging location ng A or depth ng equivalent stress block. Dito sa figure natin, meron tayong two possible location of A. Kung i-analyze natin yung figure, dito sa axis na to, nagkaroon ng change in shape of the section. Case 1, when A is less than 125. And case 2, when A is greater than 125. Or simply say, when A is above or below this axis. Kasi sa axis na to, nagkaroon ng pagbabago sa shape ng section natin. Kayo ang gagawa or mag-iisip ng possible location ng A. Depende sa figure na given. But as we go along, mako-compute naman natin kung saan yung true location ng A. Step number 1. Assume steel yields or FS is equal to FY. Since tension bars lang ang meron tayo, yung steel na tinutukoy ko dito is yung tension bars. By applying summation forces horizontal, C is equal to T, regardless kung anong case siya. C is equal to 0.85 F prime C. Ang gagamitin na natin this time is AC or yung area ng concrete. Yung AB kasi ginagamit lang natin siya kapag rectangular. Is equal to T, ASFY. Where AS is 432 mm diameter bars. And the value of AS is 102.4 pi. 0.85 F prime C 21. AC unknown. AS 102.4 pi and FY 345. Makukuha na natin ngayon yung required area of concrete. Then the value of AC or area of concrete is equal to 62,177.1346. I-denote ko yung part na to as 1 or yung area niya is tatawagin kong A1. A1, since rectangle siya or square, ang area niya is 125 times 125. Since equal lang silang dalawa, so, i-multiply ko na lang yung area niya ng 2. Kaya yung A1 is equal to twice ng 125 times 125 or A1 is equal to 31,250 mm squared. Since yung area ng concrete na kailangan natin is 62,000 plus at ang value lang ng A1 is 31,000 plus, it means kailangan pa natin ng additional area na kukunin naman natin sa part na to. On that case, papasok yung section natin sa case 2 or yung value ng A is greater than 125 mm. Alam na natin ngayon na yung magiging value ng A is greater than 125. I-denote ko naman yung part na to as 2 at yung magiging area niya is tatawagin kong A2. I-denote ko na si yung magiging height ng area 2. Since mas maliit yung area 1 na nakuha natin sa area ng concrete na kailangan natin, therefore, Area of concrete is equal to A1 plus A2. Then yung kakailanganin pa natin na additional area or A2 is equal to AC minus A1. AC is equal to 62,177.1346 minus 31,250. Ang kailangan pa natin na additional area or A2 is 30,927.1346. Area 2 is equal to 375 yung width niya multiplied by C. Ito yun, 375C, yung formula ng A2. Ano ba yung value ng A2? A2 is equal to 30,927.1346. Equating the equation of A2 sa value niya na 30,927.1346, makukuha natin ngayon yung value ng C, which is 82.472 mm. Looking at this figure, yung magiging value ng A is equal to 125 plus C. 125 plus the value of C, 82.472, makukuha na natin ngayon yung value ng A which is equal to 207.472. Para naman makuha yung value ng C, C is equal to A over beta 1. But what is beta 1? Since F prime C is equal to 21 megapascal, dito tayo magpo-pull sa region na to, 17 to 28. Kaya magiging value ng beta 1 is equal to 0.85. 
Substituting the value of A, 207.472, and the value of beta 1 is 0.85, ang makukuha nating value ng C is equal to 244.085 mm. Computing naman natin yung value ng FS or yung stress ng steel using the formula 600 multiplied by D minus C over C. 600, yung value ng D is equal to 625. C is yung value na na-obtain natin, 244.085 over C. And the value of FS is equal to 936.35 megapascal. Kinukuha natin yung value ng FS para malaman natin kung tama yung assumption natin. Since yung nakuha natin value ng FS na 936.35 megapascal is greater than sa given na value ng FY na 345 megapascal, then, R still yields. Therefore, our assumption is correct. Sa next problem na kaduktong nito, paano naman yung gagawin natin when the value of FS is less than FY or when the steel does not yield? Step number two, classify the section as to compression control, transition, or tension control para malaman natin yung value ng reduction factor na gagamitin natin. Yung value ng FS na nakuha natin kanina is 936.35 megapascal. From this table, yung magiging classification ng section natin is transition region because FS is less than FY and FS is greater than FY. Kaya ito yung formula na gagamitin natin for reduction factor. In able to use this formula, kailangan lang natin ang value ng FS, then FY. 0.65 plus 0.25, FS 936.35 minus FY 345 over 1000 minus FY. Then the value of our reduction factor is 0.8757. MU is equal to reduction factor MN. Meron na tayong value ng reduction factor. Ang kailangan na lang natin is yung value ng MN. From this figure, ito yung ating MN. Makukuha mo yan kapag minoment mo yung C sa axis ng T or kapag minoment mo yung T sa axis ng C. Kaso, ang magiging problema natin, mahirapan tayong hanapin yung location naman ng equivalent na concentrated force kasi hindi na rectangular yung section natin. Isa sa maaari natin gawin to determine the value of MN is to determine the location of C. Coincide yun sa centroid ng area 1 and area 2. At yung isang solution na pwede natin gawin is isubdivide natin yung composite area natin into a geometric figure with known location of centroid. Kaya hinati natin siya into area 1 and area 2. Yung area 1 is square, yung centroid niyan is nasa gitna, at yung compressive force niyan is yung C1. Area 2, rectangle, yung centroid niyan is nasa gitna, at yung compressive force niya is C2. C1 plus C2 is also equal to C. Tawagin natin Y1 yung perpendicular distance ng C1 sa axis ng T at Y2 naman yung perpendicular distance from C2 sa axis ng T. Hindi natin pwedeng gamitin yung formula na C multiplied by D minus A over 2. Common mistake of students. Kasi hindi naman rectangle yung face ng area natin under compression. So yung centroid niya hindi magpopol sa gitna ng A. Instead, ang gagamitin nating solution is equal to C1, Y1, plus C2, Y2. This time, alam natin na yung centroid ng C1 ay nasa gitna. Kasi yung compression area niya is square or rectangle. Same as to C2, nasa gitna din siya because yung compression area niya is rectangle. Yung location ng C1, C2 ay depende kung paano natin sinabdivide yung area natin under compression. Nagbabago ang location ng compressive force depende sa area ng section. Paano kung yung area natin is triangle or semicircle? C1 is equal to 0.85 F' C A1. C2 is equal to 0.85 F' C A2. Nakuha na natin kanina yung values ng A1 at A2. Kunin naman natin value ng Y1. From this axis up to this axis is equal to effective depth or 625. And this distance is equal to 125. Since C1 is acting on the centroid of area 1 at ang centroid ng area 1 ay nasa gitna, kaya yung distance na to is equal to 125 over 2. Therefore, Y1 is equal to D minus 125 over 2. Para naman sa Y2, equal siya sa effective depth minus this distance 
125 minus this distance equals a C over 2. Then the value of Y2 is equal to 625 minus 125. The value of C is 82.472 over 2. Then the value of Y2 is equal to 458.764. Makukuha na natin ngayon yung value ng MN. 0.85, F prime C, 21, A1, yung nakuha natin kanina, 31,250. Yung nakuha natin value ng Y1, 562.50. Plus 0.85, F prime C, Area 2, 30,927.1346 Multiplied by Y2, 458.764 Then, ang ma-obtain natin na value ng MN is equal to 567.030 kN/m Going back to this equation, MU is equal to reduction factor MN Reduction factor is equal to 0.8757 And MN is equal to 567.030 kN/m then the value of MU is equal to 496.55 kilonewton meter. Problem number 2. Compute the ultimate moment capacity of the beam shown. Using FY is equal to 414 megapascal and F prime C is equal to 21 megapascal. For the next problem, ginamit ko lang yung same figure, binago ko lang yung number ng bars and yung value ng FY. Kung kanina, correct yung assumption natin or still yields, for this problem, isipapakita ko naman kung paano yung gagawin natin when the tension steel does not yield. Inexplain ko naman na sa naunang problem yung concept, kaya for this problem, is medyo magdidiretsyo na tayo sa computation side ng problem natin. By applying summation forces horizontal, acting on the beam is equal to 0, C is equal to T. C is equal to 0 0.85, F prime C, AC, area of concrete, is equal to T, AS, FY. 0.85 F prime C AC unknown is equal to AS 1.536 kinumpute natin multiply by FY Then the value of AC or area of concrete needed is equal to 111,918.84 mm squared Itinote ko lang ulit yung part na to as 1 at tatawagin ko yung area nila as A1 A1 is equal to 125 multiplied by 125 times 2 dahil dalawa sila then the value of A1 is equal to 31,250mm2. Since the value of A1 is less than AC, kakailanganin pa natin ng additional area of concrete. A2 is the additional area na kakailanganin natin is equal to AC minus A1. Then the value of A2 is equal to 80,668.84. Tawagin ko yung height ng area 2 as C. Therefore, A2 is equal to 375 multiplied by C is equal to area of A2 which is 80,668.84. Kaya makukuha natin value ng C is equal to 215.12 mm. From the figure, makukuha ko na yung value ng A which is equal to 125 plus C. Then the value of A is equal to 340.12 mm. C is equal to A over beta 1. Since hindi naman ako nagpalit ng value ng F' C, therefore, ang value ng beta 1 is still 0 0.85. Kaya makukuha ang value ng C is equal to 400.14 mm. Makukompute na natin ngayon yung value ng Fs. Using the derived formula for Fs is equal to 600 multiplied by D minus C over C, may value na tayo ng D which is 625, and yung C is 400.14 yung nakompute natin. Ang makukuha nating value ng Fs is equal to 337.17 MPa. By comparing the value of Fs to Fy, Fs is less than Fy. Therefore, it still does not yield. At kapag hindi nag-yield yung bakal, the value of Fs is not equal to Fy. Gagamitin natin kung ano yung value talaga ng Fs. Since our assumption is incorrect, therefore, uulitin natin ulit yung buong solution. Since hindi natin alam kung saan talaga yung magiging location ng A, magkakaroon tayo ng case 1 and case 2. Piliin ko muna yung case 1, kung saan yung value ng A is greater than 125. Kapag sa solution ko, yung nakuha kong value ng A is less than 125, it means mali yung assumption ko. Case 2 talaga siya. Uulitin ko ulit yung solution ko na kung saan yung value ng A is less than 125. 
Step number 1, we will apply Fs is not equal to Fy. So dito, ang gagamitin natin is ASFS. Applying summation forces horizontal is equal to 0, C is equal to T. C is equal to 0 0.85, F prime C, AC is equal to ASFS. Kailangan natin mag-derive na equation for AC using this scenario na kung saan yung A natin is greater than 125. Punta tayo sa figure na to. Yung area 1 and area 2 will be the area of concrete or AC. AC is equal to twice of 125 multiplied by 125 plus 375 times C. Kaso yung C, kailangan natin in terms of C para isa lang yung magiging unknown na value sa magiging equation natin mamaya. What is C? C is equal to A minus 125 where A is equal to beta 1C. Kaya maging equation natin ng AC is equal to twice of 125 times 125. Ito yung area 1 plus yung area 2, 375 multiplied by A minus 125. Yung A, beta 1C. And beta 1 is 0.85. Sinimplify ko lang yung equation ng AC. But since gagamit ka din naman ng shift solve, pwede mo hayaan na ganito na lang yung equation ng AC. Going back to this equation, since meron na tayong equation ng AC, i-substitute lang natin mga values sa equation na to. 0.85, F prime C, 21. AC is yung na-derive ko na equation. Ito yon, Is equal to AS, FS. And the formula for FS is equal to 600, D is 625, minus C over C. So sa nagawa natin equation, ang unknown lang is yung C. At ang makukuha nating value ng C is equal to 379.10 mm. Solving for value of A equal to beta 1C, beta 1 is 0.85, C is 379.10, at ang value ng A is equal to 322.235 mm. Since A is greater than 125 mm, therefore my assumption is correct. Kung nagkataon na yung value ng A is less than 125 mm, Ulitin mo ulit yung solution na to using case 2 na pinakita ko kanina where A is less than 125mm. Kasi iba na yung magiging equation mo for AC using case 2. Dahil tama naman yung assumption, diretso na ako sa pagkuha ng value ng FS. FS is equal to 389.18 MPa. Step number 2, classify the section para malaman kung anong value ng reduction factor yung gagamitin. Looking at this table, since the value of Fs is less than Fy, ang magiging classification ng section is compression control. Kaya ang value ng reduction factor is 0.65. After this, isosolve na natin yung moment capacity ng section. Step number 3, solve for the moment capacity, or yun yung ating MU. Yung nakuha ang value ng A kanina is 322.235 mm. Makukuha na natin yung value ng C. C is equal to A minus 125. Then the value of C is equal to 197.235 mm. Solve for value of A1 and A2. A1, dalawa sila, na 125 by 125. And A2 is equal to 375 multiplied by C, which is 197.235 mm. A1 is equal to twice of 125 by 125, is equal to 31,250 mm2. A2 is equal to 375 multiplied by C, which is 197.235 mm, is equal to 73,963.125 mm2. Next is solve for value of Y1 and Y2. Same lang ng procedure na ginawa natin kanina, kaya hindi ko na masyadong i-detail. Y1 is equal to effective depth 625 minus 125 over 2. Y2 is equal to effective depth minus 125 minus C over 2. Then, ang ma-obtain natin value for Y1 is equal to 562.50 mm and for Y2 is 401.3825 mm. Applying the formula for MU is equal to reduction factor MN, may value na tayo ng reduction factor which is 0.65. Value na lang ng MN yung kailangan natin hanapin. MN is equal to C1 times Y1 plus C2 times Y2. C1 is equal to 0.85 F prime C A1 and C2 is equal to 0.85 F prime C A2. MN is equal to 0.85 F prime C A1 times Y1 plus 0.85 F prime C A2 times Y2. 
then the value of mn is equal to 843.69 kilonewton meter. Going back to this equation, dahil may value na tayo ng mn, reduction factor is equal to 0 0.65 times mn, 843.69, then the value of mu or the ultimate moment capacity of the beam is equal to 548.40 kilonewton meter.